Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my April budget. I do know that I missed a cash stuffing this past Friday. So in my cash stuffing video that I'm gonna do later on this week, I am going to be closing out my March budget with you guys in that video. So I'm not gonna do it in this video, I'm gonna do it in the cash stuffing at the end of this week. So we will go ahead and get started um, setting up my April budget, as you can see, I have some little sticky notes here of bills coming up. Some of them have already came out. I'm gonna be using my Easter kit. I know we just had Easter, but y'all know April is Easter for us. Mm. So I'm gonna be using my Easter kit to set up my budget for this month. If you are not into the Easter vibes, I do have these uh, vibrant watercolor flower themes in the shop for April as well. Our May kit is available. This is the peach theme. This is the theme that I used last year. And this year for the month of May, I will be using my strawberry theme. So May stickers are available in the, also in the month of May, since we're here, um, I'm going to have stickers in Erin Condren size eight and a half by 11, as well as Happy Planner classic size and big size. So if you prefer those sizes, stay tuned because they will be available next month. Okay guys, so being that I am putting down the Easter spread, let me just go ahead. I didn't get to do it last weekend, OMG, but I hope that you guys had a great weekend. I hope that you had a great um, Easter weekend with your family. If you celebrate Easter, Resurrection, Sunday, all that good stuff, I just hope that everybody had a good weekend, no matter what. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put my date dots down, speed up through this part, and then come back. Okay guys, so I got the planner set up for you. I did already go ahead, like I do every month, write my bills down on the bill due um, stickers and I'm just gonna go ahead and get them put down. So we have our rent and utilities for the first of the month for April. And this was taken care of. We have our dental and vision insurance that is due on the 4th and again for some reason my bills that were originally due like on these specific due dates have started coming out earlier I'm not sure why and um, that's just where we are Netflix will be due it probably has already come out as well I have to check my account to see Next, I have my HP Inc. subscription. And this is a business bill, and this is due on the 7th. And for the bills that are that end up being on the weekend, they usually end up either coming out the business day before or the business day after. So I just still put it on the original due date and just you know make a note of it when I do my weekly budgets. My cell phone bill is due on the 8th. My shop app, which is another business bill, is due on the 15th. My car insurance and Apple Music subscription are both due on the same day, and that is the 18th, so they share a sticker. My Wi-Fi will be due on the 20th. My electricity will be due on the 24th and I did have to renew my plan because 
um, it was for a year my new plan is for two years and I did tell her like I may um, you know not be living here <laughs> um, in two years but as long as I'm still in Texas my electricity can follow me wherever I go Canva Pro is due on the 27th this is another business bill my P.O. box is due on the 30th. I will probably pay it before that, but that is when it's ultimately due by. And then my Microsoft subscription also already came out. I wasn't really expecting this, but it did. So I'm gonna put it here and this came out. That was also $76, not 75. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and put my payday stickers down. I will speed through this process as well. And I get paid on Tuesdays and Fridays from my shop and the 21st of every month from YouTube, but it's on a weekend, so it'll probably come on the 22nd. Okay y'all, so all the paydays are down and honestly, I just adore these payday scripts because it prevents me from having to constantly write payday over and over and over. I am gonna make some bill scripts as well. So I will be putting bill scripts on the bill due stickers. Y'all, it's gonna be a whole vibe. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put down my church stickers and my grocery stickers. So church is obviously on Sundays. And I am aiming to um, go to church more often this year than I did last year. If you guys are new to the channel, I did transition churches over the last two years. So I have been visiting my, not visiting, I have been attending my home church my whole life. And um, right before I turned 30, I think, or right after I turned 30, I just felt in my heart like, girl, go spread your wings. You know, you've been here for forever. And I love my home church, that's family. But I did have to spread my wings. And so now I'm visiting another church that I've been visiting for a couple years now. And I absolutely love it. My boyfriend has been there. He loves it. We definitely love this church. Next, I have my grocery stickers. And so I'm going to go ahead and put these down. And these stickers are definitely more so just for motivation more than anything. If you know, you know, I am not a fan of grocery shopping. Um, it's just, especially by myself, I don't like to do it by myself. And if I'm with somebody, it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more, you know, it's an experience. But by myself, it's just not fun. So y'all, I'll be ordering groceries, but hey, it gets the job done. <laughs> we have groceries. We can eat a little bit healthier versus eating out. And so what I usually do um, during the month is I will check off that I've grocery shopped. So I'm gonna show you guys here. As you can see, I have little check marks next to me, um, grocery shopping, as well as the church stickers. So I put a check mark that I went to church. And if I don't put a check mark, then that means I did not go. I did go this last Sunday. I think I only missed one Sunday this month. So that is the reasoning behind my grocery and church stickers. It definitely works um, in helping me stay accountable in those areas. Okay, next I have my event stickers. And um, usually on these stickers, I like to put any like events or things that I'm going to be doing that I don't already <laughs> I have a sticker for and somebody had commented on one of my videos they're like are you gonna make a bible study sticker i was like you know what girl you read my mind i need to um so bible study is something else that i am trying to be very intentional with i need to show you guys my uh annual goals page i haven't shown that in a while and i may link that video in the in this description box so you guys can see because I am most definitely trying to keep up with the goals that I set for myself for this year. Okay, so this is my annual goals page and I have goals in like pretty much every category that I can think of. And I've already started checking off some categories that um, I have been able to achieve. The next categories I should be able to start checking off will be my health goals. I hope you guys can see that because I do have some appointments coming up in the pipeline. Eye doctor appointment, dentist appointment, all that. So I'm going to check that off. And yeah, guys, I'm really trying to keep up with my annual goals. Okay, guys, I went ahead and peeled up my payday stickers 
because I do like to put in my planner when new stickers are releasing in the shop. So the June stickers will be available on April 19th. So I want to put that down here and then I will put payday back up there on top. Yeah, so I have quite a few things I need to move around because it's a lot going on in this upcoming weekend. So I am going to put my HP Inc. subscription and my cell phone bill on the same sticker because I need room on my weekend. HP Inc. and phone both on um, the 8th. My dad's birthday is on the 7th. My goddaughter's birthday is on the 5th. So, and then we have birthday celebrations going on in all these days. Okay, y'all, so we had to move quite a few things around. So, starting with my goddaughter's birthday, her actual birthday is Friday, her birthday party is Saturday. So I just put a little event sticker over that. Um, my dad's birthday is the 7th, going to church that day, had to combine the bills onto one sticker so that we had room over there. And we will be going out to eat for my dad's birthday. So I'm just gonna stick this right up in here on the 7th. And then my cousin's birthday is also on the 19th when the June stickers go live and the payday, so I just, did some overlapping there and then my best friend's birthday is on the 30th so i moved the p.o box bill due sticker to the 29th which like i said it'll probably get paid before the 30th anyway and then i lifted up the payday sticker so as you can see april will be busy okay next i'm going to make a note of my no spend days and i did pretty good last month besides the last week of the month because i was out of town and I had to work a lot in the last week of the month, so I just did not do that great of a job toward the end of the month, but it's okay because any progress is better than none. And then I will also keep track of um, coffee that I spend throughout the month outside of my home. Some other stickers that I have in the shop are date night stickers, hair appointment, nail appointment, and self-care. So I probably won't be doing self-care this month. It is a goal to do it every month, but this month is just gonna be really busy for more reasons than I've even put down here. Um, so I probably won't have time for that. And then I do need to get my hair done this month because I didn't do it last week, which I was supposed to do it last week, but I got really busy. So hopefully throughout the month, I'll be able to use the rest of these stickers. Okay, next we will flip to the dashboard page. Okay guys, so I have stickers for both Erin Condren dashboards, this like newer design that she has, as well as the previous design. And again, these are not gonna be laid down perfectly. Um, because I am just trying to get it done. And this dashboard page, it does come with um, scripts at the bottom if you want. And then I have some additional um, dashboard header scripts that I'm gonna be using, but I just wanted to include some scripts for you guys so you didn't have to get some separately if those work well for you. Hopefully I didn't, we'll make it work. Okay, I'm also gonna be using my um, deco sheet here to get my dashboard set up. So we will start with goals. That's gonna be what I put here at the top. And every month I try to give myself like two goals um, it's usually like one is like finance related and the other one might be uh, shop related. So I'm going to do the same thing in this month. And then here I will put my to do. As well as important events. And I'll just put events. And sometimes people might put like important projects or things like that. You can definitely double up if you want. 
And then down here, I will put all of the lovely birthdays that I have going on in this month. Um, and actually, to be completely honest, I actually prefer the previous dashboard layout over this one. And I don't know if it's because I'm just so used to the other one. That's why I prefer the old one, but we're making it work. Okay, so I'll just put some little flags up here to notate my goals. And then guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these dots down. Okay, y'all, so over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this little deco box down here. And since this goes into the next month and I'm not gonna use it for this month, I will just put my weekend script down here. Okay, y'all, so next we'll move on to setting up the budget page. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and get the little top washi down. Y'all, I found some yellow press-on nails. I can't, you know, I don't have them on right now because I got my little sparkly nails on, but I'm so excited because I'm like, oh yes, it's gonna match the budget kit. Cause a lot of y'all had like made a mention of March. I had like these yellow nails that was matching, that were matching the budget kit. And I'm like, yes, sis, that's the point. You know, it's a whole vibe. Like somebody commented on one of my videos, like, oh, I don't use budget stickers and I do just fine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> we love it and I love it because I just feel like it makes it so much more fun and enjoyable and you know stickers are a hobby it's not a necessity you don't have to do it but it's a hobby and I feel like it's a hobby that betters my life because it makes me enjoy doing an otherwise very mundane unenjoyable task which is budgeting so I make it more fun. I get my nails matching everything. Actually, let's change this up a little bit. And I will be making stickers for um, the Budget Mom workbook. And I definitely want to get into the workbooks because I know some of you guys really um, prefer using workbooks. You like having the setup of workbooks to where you don't have to um, set things up yourself. For me as a person living on variable income, and like I said, you can live on variable income in different ways. And so having the ability to change things around as my budget changes um, has really worked out for me. For instance, I have been paying my taxes, which is a debt that I've had for the past year. And so I've included a debt um, tracker in my budget all of 2023. But now that my taxes are paid off, I no longer need a debt tracker. Yeah, so I no longer um, I no longer need a debt tracker. I do have student loans, but I'm just treating them like a bill. Um, this year I'm actually at zero payment for student loans, so I'm not even paying on them this year. So I don't need a debt tracker in my budget right now. So that's something that I can eliminate. Okay, what I'm gonna do with this last script is just bring it down here. Um, in the event that some other things come up this month, I don't think I will need all these lines for additional expenses, but you never know. So, and end it off with a little decoration. Okay, so for my income sources, I have the business and then I put a line for miscellaneous. I actually do think I'm gonna get miscellaneous income this month. Um, by way of where am i at i wrote this backwards on my mock budget by way of um, an amazon refund so we shall see so my variable expenses the expenses that you know these will typically be the amounts these will typically be the categories that i um can end up overspending in and depending on the month and what's going on that month, the amounts that I need in these categories will fluctuate. I 
I put tithes under variable expenses because because my income is variable, my tithes are also variable. So under fixed expenses, I will put May rent and utilities. And then I have dental and vision insurance. Netflix. I don't put my business bills on this budget, even though I put them on my calendar. That's just I want all my bills on one calendar. But I have a, I use a separate um, I use a separate page for the business, so I'm not going to put that here. So I have cell phone and car insurance and Apple Wi-Fi electricity okay guys so um, I forgot that I don't have a tax bill anymore and um, and I'm not paying on my student loans this year so that gave me two extra lines so I just went ahead and moved the strips up but I do have quite a bit of additional expenses coming up this month. So let's go for it. We have sinking funds. This is additional places where I'm gonna be putting money toward this month. My savings challenges. Um, another trip. Y'all, listen. We are in the fourth month of the year um, going on trip four. So then I have Gianni's birthday. I have dad's birthday. I have Lauren's birthday. I don't think my cousin is doing anything for his birthday this year. He did last year because it was um, his 40th. He turned 40, so he had a party but he usually doesn't do much for his birthday. And I'm just gonna leave a couple blank lines cause we just never know. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in, fill in the amounts. So for variable expenses, I'm going to budget 50 for spending for the month, 225 for gas, 350 for groceries, home will get 100. I decided, oh, that was another thing y'all. So I used to separate home and laundry um, I decided to just combine that into home. So home was getting 60. I think laundry was getting like 30. I'm like, let's just combine it and make it all home $100. Eating out is going to get 125. Meds is going to get 40. Beauty, I'm going to do 180 again in hopes that I will get my hair done this month and that I don't budget anything for tides. For my utilities and rent, um, I don't disclose that number. My dental and my dental and vision insurance is 30. Netflix is 17. Cell phone is 83. Car insurance is 116. Apple Music is 13. Wi-Fi is 31. My electricity bill, I will get the invoice next week and I'll have that amount. For sinking funds, we're budgeting to add 360 this month for saving challenge. Saving challenge is 96. For a trip, I'm doing 100. And for everybody's birthday, your girl is just budgeting $50. And then unbudgeted is not getting an amount. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and calculate what the numbers are in these categories. We are at 1070 and April is going to be a five week month for me, even though March had five weeks because um, of the way the days fall for me, it carries over into April. We're at 360 plus 96. And these are additional expenses. I think I said sinking funds. So we are at 706 for additional expenses. And then I'm leaving this blank 
um, because I'm not going to show that amount. And then I need my invoice. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and set up um, paycheck one with you guys here on camera. And then I will do the rest of the setup for the paychecks off camera and then just come back when they are all complete to show you. So I put all of my paychecks on like one page this month because I'm going to have five weeks. It will have to overlap into uh, one more page, but I do like to put all of my paychecks together so I can kind of see everything or most of everything in one um, spread. So I put my total here. And then I do condense my expenses. And just an FYI, I um, set up my whole budget in one day. So I don't, you know, do a little bit here, a little bit there. I noticed that if you do it like that, more than likely you won't get it done. So I set up my whole, I set everything up in one sitting. Okay, so because I do not show my revenue or income, I just put under income what I plan to take out on a weekly basis in cash to work with. It's usually $200 and then when the week comes up, I'll put what I'm actually taking out and what the difference is. Under expenses, because I like for, because I'm paid weekly and I like for my paychecks to be all on one page, I just condense um, all of the, categories into like instead of writing all the bills out I'll just put bills and then just add them all all up together um, SF is sinking funds they get their own line and then I'll do uh, my savings challenge I used to also include a buffer but I took that envelope out so I'm not doing that extra expenses these are any expenses that are gonna come up in that week that I'm gonna pay for that I'm able to budget for I knew they were coming up and I'm gonna budget for them, but they're not a bill. They're not, you know, a cash envelope or a sinking fund. So I just put extra expenses and then unbudgeted are any expenses that come up during the week that I was not planning on. And I have to like pull that money from a sinking fund or buffer account or savings account. And so that's what unbudgeted is for. So this is how I set my paycheck up. When I do my cash stuffing in a few days, I'm actually going to complete this and paycheck two with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of my paycheck set up and then come back. Okay, y'all, so this is my paychecks all set up, one through five. If you're paid bi-monthly and you get paid, you know, two times a month, you could do like this whole page for paycheck one, this whole page for paycheck two, and then if you get a third paycheck, the whole page for paycheck three. But um, I just like to condense mine and it also saves me pages in the planner. I think these planners come with 10 sheets um, per month. So next we're going to move forward in setting up my weekly check-in. Okay, so my weekly check-in page is the page where I kind of keep tabs on my variable expenses throughout the whole month. And it is really helpful to me because it lets me know like if I'm, um, you know, kind of overspending in one area of my budget, it, I'm able to look at the weekly check-in and know like, okay, you know, you need to tighten up in this area. You need to pull back spending in this area, you know, or if there's another area in my budget, you know, that I need some extra money for. And, you know, I have another category where I'm not really spending money at all. That's a category that can help me out for the month in a, you know, different category where I might need some more money. But overall, it's just like your monthly snapshot of how you're doing in your variable expense categories. So my categories um, are the same that I put on the budget page. And these categories are also my cash envelopes. So when you guys see my cash envelope stuffing in a couple days, um, my envelopes have these categories on them. So it's spending, gas, groceries, home, eating out, 
Meds and beauty. So for me, um, medicine consists of uh, like painkillers. Y'all, I am not good with internal pain. Like it's crazy. Like I can do external pain, but internal pain, like headaches, stomach aches, like I just can't do it. So, <laughs> so I always have to keep medicine on deck just in case something happens and I'm not feeling well. Um, also cold medicine, if I get a cold, you know, I will not hesitate to get NyQuil as well as allergy medicine. So I do have allergies and eczema, so I'll keep some medicine for that as well. So that's why that's a category for me. So each section for me represents one week. So this first week that you see at the top will be my first week in April that I'm spending this money in. So I will put the days over here so I know what this money, what days this money is going towards. So my first week for my April budget is March 29th through April 4th. And I do this so that I know where I am in the month with these categories. So the second week for me, you guys can see that will be April 5th through April 11th. And so I just put my days over here so I know where I am in the month. So I'm gonna continue um, filling out my weekly check-in and then come back and show it to you guys. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and set up my weekly check-in for the whole month. So I was able to fit it on um, just this page and this page. So hopefully I get to use my little polka dot script, um, I mean my polka dot washi somewhere else because I just love this washi. So next we will move on to sinking funds. Okay, I have you guys zoomed out because I'm about to grab my sinking funds binder and get this page set up. I am gonna um, show you guys this page. I'm gonna just fast forward through it. So basically what I do here is I like to keep track of where my sinking funds are. Um, and these are those funds that I save in cash in my envelopes for upcoming expenses like Christmas, car maintenance, all that good stuff. So, um, okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this part. I'm just going to go through each envelope, write down the category and write down how much money I have in those categories. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and wrote down all of my amounts. I'm gonna go ahead and um, calculate them up with you guys. So we are at 1872. And at the end of this month, I will go through and tally out the ending. So I'm gonna do that for the month of March. You guys will see that in the cash stuffing this weekend. So the next thing that I wanna do, if I can have room to fit it on this page, we shall see, is I want to um, go ahead and put a little saving tracker down here, especially since I'm not using my debt tracker anymore, or at least for right now, um, I won't need it. And so I figured I was using my savings tracker before I started using my debt tracker because I was consumer debt free for a while and then you know, got on the payment plan for my taxes and then had to pay that debt. So I'm like, let's go ahead and go back to our savings tracker. These amounts I'm probably not gonna end up showing, like I'm gonna cover it up when I do my videos, but I am hoping that I can um, keep a tally of how much money I am adding and withdrawing in my savings account. So I kind of had to make it squeeze. So this is one, two, three. The fourth week, I may have to three and four share, <laughs> share a line. And I'm doing it like that because on the next page, I'm gonna do my expense tracker. And I like to give myself a full page for expense tracking because you just never know what the expenses are gonna look like. And I would rather have more room than not enough room. And then at the very end of my planner, I have to use the end of my planner for my business budget. So, so this is where I am. Squeeze the saving tracker down here. I'm gonna use this whole sheet for my expense tracker. And then these one, two, three sheets will be used for the business. So 
if you don't have to do a separate budget for anything else, then you have additional pages in the back, but I have to make it work. Erin also has the ability that you can add additional line pages in your planner if you want for I think like an extra like $10 or something. Um, but y'all know me, I'm frugal. So I was like, mm, nope, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna <laughs> consolidate these paychecks. We're gonna make it work just the way that it is. Um, so yeah, and it works. If I get to a point where I feel like I need more room, then I'll just go ahead, I'll just go ahead and um, pay for some additional pages. But as of right now, this works for me. So expense tracking is something new that I have been doing this year because I want to keep up with how much money I'm spending in any given category. So that's where I am with that. I'm going to just go ahead and put this last little um, polka dot washi down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna hold off on um, putting down my totals sheet until the end of the month. And if I end up needing more room, I'll just remove this. But I wanna use it, I think it's so freaking cute. And I want to use it somewhere, so we'll put it there. And then I'm gonna hold this sheet, I'm gonna hold it back here in my back pocket. Okay, y'all, so that is the end of my April budget setup. I'm gonna just give you guys a quick flip through. I will go ahead and fill this in. If time permits, I'll include it in this video. If not, y'all are gonna see it um, when I do my cash stuffing. I'll show you my setup over here. This is my monthly budget. These are my paychecks, my weekly check-in, my sinking fund, saving tracker, expense tracker, and then I have some additional pages for my business budget. So if you guys have any questions, please go ahead and leave them down below for me. I would love to answer them. I hope that you're able to get your April budget set up. I do have a couple orders that came in, I think toward like the middle and end of last week for April stickers that I will be working on getting out between today and tomorrow so that you guys can have your stickers on the way as well. But other than that, guys, that's all I have for today. I'll be back with a cash stuffing for paycheck one and two in a few days. I hope that you will join me there as well. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Let's get this dashboard page set up. So for my financial goal for the month of April, I want to complete um, both of my savings challenges. And then for the business goal for the month of April, I want to complete um, all new products. So the new products, which you guys already know, which are stickers and things like that, um, as well as some envelopes, I'm hoping to have them in the shop by the middle of May. And once I get closer to that time, I'm going to know um like the exact dates of when i can release everything and i'll you know make flyers for it put it on instagram youtube all that good stuff um june kits i need to make sure i get those out i do have new stickers um to complete as well as some new envelope envelopes um and then this month we will be having an anniversary did I spell that right? Anniversary. <laughs> we will be having an anniversary sale this month. Um, I just have not announced the date yet, but that is happening. For events, I have my goddaughter's birthday party. My dad's birthday dinner. I'm sure we probably will do something for my best friend as well. I just don't have the, the update on that. But her, these two birthdays are like this coming up weekend. My best friend's birthday is not until the end of the month, almost in May. So I will be out of town. My boyfriend and I are going out of town between the 19th and the 22nd. Well, that's when I'll be out of town. He's actually going to get out there before me. And I'm gonna leave a blank space for my best friend's birthday in case, we, in case we're doing something for that as well. And then for birthdays, I have Gianni, which is four, five. And then I have Daddy, which is four, seven. 
And then I have my cousin Erin, which is 419. And one of my best friends, Lauren. People are driving so loud today. And her birthday is 430. Okay guys, so now the setup is 100% complete. And all I have to do throughout the rest of the month is fill it in. I hope that you guys um, enjoy watching me set it up and I hope that you're able to get your setup with me um, or whenever you get a chance to, I hope you're able to get your April um, budget spread set up. So thank you guys, see you next time.